Tesla frantically rushes to complete Giga Berlin, there has been news and rumors of a delay. The plant was scheduled to start operations later this year, but we have heard reports that this could have been pushed forward by up to six months. This has been vigorously denied by a German economic minister, who has been a vocal supporter of the project right from inception. There is, however, a crucial part of Giga Berlin that we are interested in, the Gigapress. What are Gigapresses, and why are they crucial to both Tesla and the auto industry? Stay with us as we bring you these and much more. But before we dive into all that juicy stuff, here's a quick reminder to like and subscribe if you have not done so already. Also, remember to drop your comments below as we would like to hear from you. What is a Gigapress? As far as Tesla is concerned, small is boring, pun intended. Whether setting a target for itself or building a plant, they just have to be out of the ordinary. While many startups at the age of Tesla are still trying to find their feet, the auto company continues to make moves expected of more established firms. Tesla's Gigapresses are examples. They are huge die-cast machines supplied by Italian-based IDRA Group. They are actually the biggest ever built in the world, capable of producing up to 61,000 kN clamping force. How massive are these machines? They are as big as the apartment you live in, measuring 20 meters by 7.5 meters by 6 meters. They weigh in at 430 tons and are a nightmare to transport, requiring more than 20 flatbed trucks. With the Gigapress, Tesla is turning car manufacturing on its head, using an approach that is unheard of in the industry. The monster machines will make a whole car chassis out of reusable mold, unlike the usual practice of welding and bolting numerous parts together. This means rather than dealing with up to 72 different parts that make up the chassis, there is only one piece to work on. This is a massive improvement in all aspects. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, says it has eliminated the job of more than 300 robots. Imagine robots losing their jobs. If you are still having trouble visualizing what a Gigapress does, just take a look at our cheap plastic toy car. Its body, or chassis, is usually made from a single piece of plastic. That is exactly what Tesla is doing to car chassis with their Gigapress. Because Tesla makes real cars, and not plastic cars, a Gigapress has to be massive in size to be able to produce enough force to do the job. Which brings us to the next part. How does a Gigapress work? It works just like all other die-casting machines work, by forcing hot molten metal into a mold, which when cooled, is open to remove the casting metal, in this case, an electric vehicle chassis. We are only talking about large scales, where Gigapresses are concerned. Fun fact, while the name sounds like something only Tesla would come up with, the term Gigapress was actually coined by IDRA, the supplier, although it might have drawn inspiration from Tesla, who was the first client to place an order. Making a chassis with a Gigapress requires several steps, the preparation includes spreading soybeans into the mold, so that when the finished product can come off easily. Remember, the mold is going to be reused many times. The metal has to be melted too. Tesla uses a mixture of aluminum and silicon to make its chassis. To melt the alloy may require temperatures of up to 850 degrees Celsius. The right amount of alloy is then forced into the mold by a plunger. After being cooled down to 400 degrees Celsius, the mold is opened and transferred by a robot into a quenching pool of water to be further cooled to 50 degrees Celsius. The last step is to check for defects and trim off rough edges and excess materials, and a new chassis is born. Why go for a Gigapress? Gigapresses require a lot of investments and space for installation. So why is Tesla putting itself through a lot of trouble to install them, rather than use the tested and trusted method of coupling parts together? We can say that Tesla is just being Tesla here, but there are many advantages that the Gigapresses give Tesla that their competitors wish they had. The most obvious is speed. How long do you imagine a cycle takes in a Gigapress? An hour or two? For a machine that big, everything happens in a matter of seconds. From molten metal to a solid chassis, it takes less than 100 seconds per IDRA specifications. This is like putting Usain Bolt in a snail race when you compare what Tesla is doing with what others do by coupling parts together. This simply means a lot more cars can be made by Tesla. JP Morgan went to check out a Gigapress and came back impressed. They acknowledged Tesla had changed car making forever. While there, they did a bit of maths to know how many chassis can be made from a Gigapress set up in a year. Using an over-generous cycle time of between 4 and 5 minutes, a plant with 10 Gigapresses can make 3,500,000 Model Y chassis in a single year. And that is because the Model Y requires two presses to make a single chassis. That number is easily doubled when the Gigapress works as intended by the manufacturer. In fact, the frame on Gigapress has been observed to do its job under 200 seconds, while efforts to optimize are still going. This means a new plant like the Giga Berlin can produce more than 100,000 units in its first year of operation. Tesla has set an ambitious year-on-year -year growth of 50% in production volume. With the Gigapresses, that looks less daunting. This is why it is sticking Gigapresses in all of its production facilities. Tesla's arsenal of Gigapresses also gives it a cost advantage. Tesla is famous for trying to cut down production costs at every turn, and its Gigapresses will allow it to do just that. The chassis itself costs 40% less to make. Tesla even cut down the space needed for production by a massive 30%
despite the massive sizes of a gigapress. There's also savings from labor costs from both humans and robots. Remember Musk said 300 robots are out of a job due to gigapresses? That means less work for the maintenance team. It is not nice when people lose their jobs, but that is part of the business of doing business. This less cost of production is significant when it's considered alongside Tesla's dream of making a $25,000 car that Musk believes will accelerate the adoption of electric vehicles by the human race. Musk has admitted that the goal can only be achieved by a drastic reduction in cost of production and bill of materials. Beside all that, Gigapresses deliver chassis that are free from the defects that come from welding and bolting parts together. No misaligned parts to worry about, making Tesla cars have higher quality. Wrap up. Going forward, Gigapresses are going to be a crucial part of Tesla's manufacturing process, and they clearly give Tesla an advantage over their competition. When Giga Berlin is completed, a Gigapress will be operational. Tesla is likely to install more than we have heard the company has placed orders from IDRA. Just like JP Morgan, we agree Tesla has revolutionized car making. How its competitors will respond will be interesting to see. But JP Morgan predicts only new startups can follow Tesla's lead, as the disruption to normal processes may be too much for traditional automakers who are set in their ways to handle. Interestingly, we have heard of a gigapress outside the automotive industry. Glovatech has one installed in its factory in South Korea where it is used to make components for use of 5G telecommunication equipment. That's all from us about Tesla's game-changing Gigapress. Do you think Tesla can hold on to its advantage for long? Which car maker do you see able to catch up first? Sound off in the comments below and throw in any suggestions you have for us to serve you better. Also, remember to give us a like and a follow if we have impressed you, so you won't miss out on our updates. Thanks for watching. See you next time.